In this video, we'll demonstrate how to connect the duct system to the diffusers, and I will perform a pressure loss calculation to resize the duct system. First then, I will select all these diffusers to automatically connect them to this existing duct system. I will right mouse click and use the, the option Automate Connection. Since all the ducts that I have here uh, they are rectangular, I will use only the column canal. So if we click in this first option, it shows a preview of the connection type. The second one is a flexible duct. And the, the third is half rigid duct and uh, half flexible. I will select these three uh, with flexible duct and I'll click OK and all the connections to the diffusers will be flexible. Okay. We see that all diffusers have been connected to, to the duct, but a particular case, this segment I would like to connect as the other one in the main duct. So I will remove this duct by pressing the delete key and also for the spigot and I could make it manually. I can start the duct from the from the from an existing duct or from the diffuser. So in this case I'll click on the diffuser. It selected a for the spiral sim circular duct of 160 millimeters. So I click OK. I can simply change the the height. I would just increase like 20 centimeters as the relative height to, to go a bit up because when I I move to my main duct it will ask for the connection type and in this case I would like to first go vertically and then horizontally afterwards so click OK and it's done but all the other branches are, are flexible duct so they are drawn as ISP line. If I would like to do the same, I can select a, I can select this duct, right mouse click, and I can first extend the selection and convert duct chain to flexible duct. Okay. If we see the result in 3D, we have this. Now come back to 2D. To perform the pressure loss calculation, we access the building function and then we go to the tab pressure loss calculation. Since we have this duct starting from the air handling unit, it automatically creates this connection uh, calculation point. So I will start from it. So by having this connection selected, I click on the start button. And in this first uh, tab, config tab, we can see the complete system. On the right, we see uh, predefined calculation standards, and we see all the, the parameters of this default. Okay. Now, if we come to the tab calculation, in the tab calculation, we can select the calculation type. The first one is the current status. We can use the calculate adding transitions, calculate without adding additional transitions, or only adjust our terminals and dampers when they have any adjustment available. In this case, I would just show the calculate adding transitions. And by selecting this option, DDS card already resizes the, the system. When the velocity limits exceeds or is under the limits, it will be displayed in blue for under the limit and in red over the limit. Now I will press apply to resize my system in the model. Okay. We can also visualize the velocity limits in the model. To do so, we come to the menu view and we activate the call a visualize velocity level or call a visualize system state. Let's see the result of the duct system resized in 3D.